Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm some lunacy and today we're continuing with the not so very challenge. Oh gosh, sorry. I forgot for a second what we were doing. Okay, so last episode we had Curtis <laughs> propose to Griselda and she said yes. And it was his birthday. So it was quite a day for Curtis. Um, I think he's leveled up in charisma and fitness if I'm not mistaken. But it is actually still new skill day. So they seem to get their <laughs> skills up a little bit faster. So I'm going to have Curtis do a workout. And I think I'll have Griselda uh, maybe... Let's head upstairs and we will... Where's her mirror? We'll just have her practice her speech here and then see if we can't get her to practice some singing. In the meantime, Eva. Oh gosh, what skills did you need? Was it mental skill? Generation five, master dance, and two other skills of your choosing. Okay, um, I don't know, uh, I'm not quite sure what to do. We've mastered our scout. Uh, what skills do you have? Creativity, mental skill, what did you need for school? Nothing. There's really nothing you need to do, Griselda. You can... Have a bit of fun, I suppose. Oh, she wants to go look through the telescope. Okay. So, Curtis, how you doing? Pretty good. Okay. Griselda, how you doing? Also pretty good. Alright, I guess we'll... Um... Who's closest to finishing? Chris. Zelda. So let's just speed through till she gains a skill point. Okay, so Griselda's nearly reached her skill point, but Curtis has given up and gone to bed. Alright, so she's level 8 of the charisma, so you can stop that. And I don't actually want you practice singing because we need to take care of your hunger. Get some leftovers. Oh, look, it's Jared and Rex. Jared. Oh, no, it's Jeffrey. Jared, Jeffrey. He's eating our cake. Oh, look at all this stinky food. Let's chuck that away. Gross. I guess we forgot to put all the food away. Griselda, cake is not very filling. Why don't you talk to... Oh! don't know him. Oh, so brighten his day. He's cleaning up for us. <laughs> New skill day was awful. Oh. She worked on a skill. Okay, you need to have a shower now, so sing in the shower. Stop talking to ghosties. Stop talking to ghosties. And go have a shower and then you can go to bed. You know what we should do? We should... Plan a wedding. Whose birthday is it tomorrow? Oh, it's Eva's birthday tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Well, we can't have the wedding tomorrow. Maybe we'll have the wedding on Wednesday. Alright, let's have a birthday party for, hang on, can we have children, 
no, we can't. <sighs> That's silly. Why can't children plan their own birthday parties? They're the ones that know all of their friends. And it's ridiculous. Or if you have parents, the parents should automatically know the children's friends. Okay, so let's have a birthday party for Eva. Guests. Oh, see? See? Alright, she doesn't even know... Curtis doesn't even know anyone. This is... <sighs> Alright, Griselda. Add... Because I'm... The reason I'm doing it this way is because I will forget to have the birthday party unless I do this. Okay, Charlie Benson. Um, we're just going to keep inviting all the same people. Don't need a caterer. You know what? Let's have a caterer. And we'll have it here. And we'll have it tomorrow at 4 o'clock, not 4 a.m. 4 o'clock, after school. And we will have... a wedding. See, we can't invite Warren. That was a bad breakup. Can't invite Prince. Technically, he's the father of Eva. Put it there. Hire everyone. Now, where was that wedding place? there and we will have it in the evening around dinner time okay all right planned now I won't forget right now what are we doing now Griselda she's having a shower and then she needs to head to bed I mean, in a way, it would be nice if things kept happening while you were planning parties, but also I can see that could be a danger. What if your sims set themselves on fire while you were trying to plan their birthday party? It wouldn't end up being a very good birthday party. Alright, Griselda's on her way to bed. I can see a ghosty roaming. Do you know, we haven't seen Pepper in a while. I kind of miss her. Oh, who busted our shower? Jared? Is that you, Jared? Jeffrey? <laughs> so, the family tree. Of course, Jared and Jeffrey are family members. So, Griselda is one of two twins to Luna, who was a Generation 4... Hang on, was that right? Generation 3, uh, who married Jeffrey and had the twins. And of course, Luna is the daughter of Jefferson and Aurora. And the reason you don't see Jefferson in the graveyard or, or memorial is because Jefferson actually, in, the pros, in between having Luna and wanting to get married... Jefferson ran off with another person and had like six kids with this guy. 
not with that guy, sorry, that's his father. Anyway, so Aurora is Luna's mother and she was generation two, the Rose generation. And our first generation here is Peppa. And she met Jared at work and they got married and had Aurora. And they were so sweet, but they died on the same day. It was so upsetting, but kind of fitting because they really, I mean, Peppa met Jared on the first day of work at the science place. They fell in love straight away and Jared disappeared for a while, but he came back and they got married as soon as they could and had Aurora and it was a beautiful life. They were so devoted to each other. So it was kind of fitting that they died together. Although Aurora died in the toilet. No, Pepper died in the toilet and then Grimm stole the poster. That's why we have a bad relationship with Grimm. Anyway, I would let them sleep through the night and we will wake up with them in the morning. See you in a bit. Okay, so Curtis is up, but he has to head to work today. Does Griselda have work today? No, she doesn't. Excellent. So she's going to sleep for a little bit longer, but Eva's up. Oh my gosh, she's working on the science thing by herself. You beautiful girl. Okay, Curtis, you probably don't have time to make a cake. When Griselda gets up, though, I think she's going to make the cake. So I think we'll do the pink cake. And we'll throw this out because we're going to have more cake. So Curtis, is there anything you need to do for work? Just those two things. Uh, has your needs. You need the toilet. Better do that before work. You might just have time to do it too. So I wonder what skills we should work on with Eva. Oh. Okay, so yeah, the whole reason behind explaining about the past generations is I thought it would be a fun idea to keep the graves of all of the past generations, including pets. So Crystal is a little dog, uh, belonged to Luna and Jeffrey. Also, I know that uh, Jefferson is not here. However, because Aurora was part of the romance generation, she ended up marrying a very beautiful man called Rex and he was so devoted to Luna. It was, it was so lovely. We missed him greatly. So he's joined the memorial. So he sometimes comes out as well. Oh, where did Eva? Oh, she went to school. Oh, okay. Griselda, you need to get up. Actually, you need the toilet too. So don't don't cook the cake yet unless you're about to. Go to the toilet. Okay, good. And then cook the cake. You know, I love the look of this shower, but it's not actually a shower and that annoys me. I like to have the Sims have the option of a shower if they so desire. So I'm just going to get rid of that one. And we'll buy another one that's actually a shower. Uh, shower. Where's a nice... That, see, that's a nice looking one, but it's just too big. Which way do you step into it? This way, I think. Plants in the way. What about this one? Plants in the way. What about this one? 
we'll just move the plant to there for now. Should we get it in a different colour? Green seems fitting. There we go. They don't have a bath, but there is the spa over here in the communal bathroom. Krista. I heard you got engaged. So excited. Don't worry, Krista. You are invited to the wedding. Cook. A cake. I wish there was some more party type foods. I guess we'll have you also cook, I don't know, fruit salad's always nice at a party. Uh, what else is some party type food? Maybe some fish tacos. Let's super speed this. Curtis is attempting to deadlift a new personal best and it's achingly close to getting the barbell off the ground. Although he usually frowns at other sims who grunt and shriek, this time Curtis thinks that it might just give him the push he needs. Scream! Oh no! Curtis lets out a grunt, then a screech, then an echoing guttural snarl, which causes the entire gym to stop and stare. Unfortunately, these noises did not help with the lifting whatsoever, leaving Curtis hunched over and embarrassed. Sorry, Curtis. Oh, today's mail has been delivered. Oh my gosh, Bills. Uh, Charlie, we're a bit busy at the moment. Uh, we need to pay our bills. Hey, hello. Oh, we get to give Eva a makeover. I love makeover episodes. What are you doing? So Candace is creative and an insider. Stop chatting. You need to go inside and finish making all the food. Because it looks like Griselda, I mean, Gr names. Why am I so bad with names? Oh, she leveled level nine cooking skill. Excellent. Okay, so we've paid the bills and now we just need to wait for the party to start. And Curtis is back home. Excellent. What do you need to do, Curtis? My dear. Um, I want you to open this and we're going to choose you a meal. You can eat that because it is almost party time and we need the food for the party. Okay, Eva, how'd you do in school? You were a student? Not quite yet. Even though it's your birthday, hun, you need to do your homework. Where is she doing it? In the lounge room. That's fine. And her homework is complete. All right, so you're watching telly with your dad. Hey, where's the party? Is that not today? Oh, I'm an, I'm a fool. I got the wrong day, that's fine. We'll just put the cake in the fridge for tomorrow. Okay, so in the meantime, Eva, is there anything you need to do? Have a quick meal of some nuggets.
Curtis, why don't you come out here and grill everybody some chicken? He can't, he's not a good enough cook yet. Veggie burgers it is. Griselda, what are you doing? Working out. Do you need that for work? You're level 10 fitness already, hun. You'd do a lot better to work on your charisma. Oh, you've done it. Uh, never mind, don't do that then. Come work on your singing skill. Because we haven't done that in a while. Curtis, what are you doing? You're grilling some food. Oh, looks like Ahana made some fish and chips. Alright, after you've finished grilling, you need fitness skill. So you can come do a workout. See if you can work on your heavy lifting. Because you were having trouble with that at work today. Put that in the fridge for later. I think his needs are pretty good otherwise. Griselda, you're a bit sleepy and you need social. Eva's a bit hungry. Uh, Alright, you're in the bath at the moment, but you can come have some hamburger. Oh, we can toss a coin in the fountain, that's sweet. Haven't had any other visits from vampires. Didn't Griselda get abducted by aliens? We never found out what came of that. I wonder if she's pregnant. Oh gosh, that would be a scare, wouldn't it? We've got no room for another bedroom. Although technically I turned this bedroom into a telescope room. <laughs> so we could probably jigger something up. I think Ahana's got the biggest bedroom. But she technically has a living space. So it's like a bedroom, lounge room, bathroom, everything but the kitchen sink, really. Eva, what are you doing? Oh, playing cards. It'd be nice if we could control Ahana a bit more. Ask her to come play cards with us or... Get her to cook birthday cake. Who's ringing you, Griselda? It's Charlie! Sorry, we can't meet you. Unless it's for karaoke. Yeah! Alright, so we've headed out to the city with our sister Charlie. Express admiration. Do you know what we have to do? Oh, she's going to take our machine. I'm sure that there is another machine somewhere. Oh. Sit together. Hurry up, lady. Griselda, what are you doing? Chat to your sister. Oh, quick. Sing a duet. Quick, before someone else gets the machine. Oh, you! Rat bag. Oh, hey, pause. I wonder if he's a vampire. Oh, it's Flattius. What is Flattius wearing? Is he an astronaut? He's a young adult. That's just 
that's just weird. Okay, Griselda, you've been practicing your singing. Wabba she bees don't fuck round. Uber cow card, Wabba. Charlie hasn't. It's on a swoop, blown a bloaty jowl. Uber cow card, Flurvu. Rose heaps, love, love. It's me, bad boy. They do flee for sorrow. May they puke in on. Rose heaps, love, love. Trying to get a good photo, I don't want to hear it. It's me, bad boy. Steve became a groove. Don't pull in, boy. I get so grungy, crank who. Serve a flea, Stella Bleakin. That's lovely. I sound like Charlie when I try to sing. <laughs> oh, she got, she got stars coming off of her. Well done, girls. That was beautiful. Can we do another one? Oh, wow. She works out. I thought we were muscly. Oh, my gosh. Wow, she's good. she got rainbows coming off of her. All right, that was fun. Let's get a drink. Uh, let's get some... Oh, I don't know. Zebra fizz. That's one of the beauty parts of continuing a generation is that you get to keep all your household funds. You don't have to start from zero. Alright, well that's a fun night out. So I think we might end this part here. So please leave your feedback, comments and suggestions down below. Hit that like button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time when it will be Eva's birthday and we can age her up into a teenager. Can't wait to see what she looks like. Bye!